Hello everyone, my name is Paulo Alves and on this video I'm going to create some reusable components for our Rio delivery app using React Native. On the previous video we created the code of our home screen with the integration with the React Native maps but that source code was quite long. So on this video we are going to create components to reduce the amount of code we created for that page. Subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed and you want to follow the development of this app and let's go to the code. To do this, I come here to our components folder and I'll create a new folder that will be called confirm delivery card. And I'll create another folder also called searching delivery. So let's start with our confirm delivery card. Inside of it, I'll create a file called confirm delivery card.component.tsx. The first thing we do in the file is to import the React library. Right after that, I will export a constant called confirm delivery card component, which is a function, and that function will return the code of our page. The code I'm going to put here is exactly the code of our state number two. So for now, I'm just to cut it and paste it. Now we are going to import the libraries that are not here. List, icon button, I will import the view and also add the button. Okay, now our code only shows an error because we are using home style, but we should actually create a new file called confirmDeliveryCard.style.tx. This file will contain the style of our component and we have to export a constant called confirmDeliveryCardStyle that will receive a style sheet that will be created with the following properties. The properties that we are going to use are the two properties that we need from our home style, icon and cancel button. So let's go to the home style and let's copy the icon and cancel button. I'll paste it, add the theme, and now I'll change our component to inform where there is a home style, I should have a confirm delivery card style. And there we go, we have one more error. We have an error because we are simply not using the component that we just created, so let's use this component. I'll save all the files now. As we move to the state number two, I'm going to change it to two, so we can see that there are no errors in our app. All right, this state is being shown exactly how it was before. That was actually what we wanted with this component. Let's now create the component for the state number three. To do this, I can create a file that's going to be called searchdelivery.component.tsx. Like all TSX files, we will start importing the React library and then I'm going to export a constant called searching delivery component, which is going to be a function. That function is going to return our component's code. Then I'll come to our home screen and I'll copy the code that we already have on it and I'll paste it here. We have errors because we are not importing the libraries that we need for this screen to work, so let's import them all. And now we only need our style file that we are going to create here in our components folder, and that will be called searchingdelivery.style.ts. In this style file, I will import a constant called searchingdeliverystyle that will receive a style sheet, which will be created with the following properties. Oops, I forgot to import the style sheet. Now let's see what properties of the home style we need. We need the flex center column, icon, title, and cancel delivery button. As there are several ones, I'll just copy everything from the home style and then I'll delete what's not necessary. Copy it and paste it. I have to import the theme because it's giving an error, so we need the flex center column, icon, cancel button we don't need title we will not need, and we need these four here. So I'm going to save it and let's reference this style file on our component. Oops, I ended up removing the title by mistake, so let's do a Ctrl Z, edit, and save it. Now what we need is to reference this component on our home screen. So let's go to the file, this part we no longer need, let's reference our component and save everything. I will actually change it here for the state number three and we will see that our application was behaving on the same way it was before. Okay, now let's clean up our file. The home style now doesn't need most of the things that we had before, only flex, fab and marker image. We don't need it here either. 
our home screen does not need these multiple components that we imported on it. Okay, I'll save it. Oops, there is no view here. And I'll save everything. We can see that our home was missing one more thing. I want this screen to have a header and also to have a menu button, which are those three lines that applications usually have on the home page. To do that, I can reuse the code of the component that we created in one of the previous videos, which is that header component. Then I'll import the component and I will inform that it has the same title as delivery app. I'm going to save it and let's see how it looks on the screen. Okay, here's the header, but it has a back button. But what I want is a menu button. To do this, I'm going to have to change our header component. The first thing I'm going to do is to make this component to receive a parameter informing if there is a back button to show. This parameter is not mandatory, that's what this interrogation mark inform us, and it's of the type boolean. So let's go add a ternary to our back button here. If the property has the back button, then I show the return button. Otherwise, I will return no. The React Native paper has a component called menu, and it's exactly this component that I'll use on our screen. To do that, instead of the now, what I'm going to return is our menu. This menu has some mandatory properties, like if it's visible, so I'm going to put it as true for now. It also has this property called on dismiss, which is going to be the action that will make the menu disappear. And the last property that's mandatory is the anchor from that menu. This anchor is what will make our menu visible. So what I need for now is the side menu icon. So let's go to the code and add an app bar action. This app bar action will have an icon, which is the menu. I'll close our menu component and that's it for now. I'll save it and let's see how it looks now. Okay, now the menu is showing on the screen, but the menu has a black color. So we are going to add a style file to our header component called header.style.ts. Oops, it's missing the dot there. This file will export a constant called header style that will receive a style sheet that will be created with the following properties. The only property that I'm going to create here for now is the menu property and its color will be white. I'll save it and now we have to reference this color in our icon. So I'm going to inform that its color comes from header style.menu.color. And as soon as I save it, we'll see this change reflected in our screen. And nothing happens for now when I click here on our menu button because I'm not taking any action. Remember that now I'm focusing only on the screens, not the actions, and we are done with our home screen for now. On the next video, we are going to develop three new screens for our real delivery app using React Native. The first one is going to be the screen where the user will put the origin and destination or destinations to that delivery. The second screen will be the one where the user will be able to visualize all the deliveries that the user has created before. And the third screen will be the one where we are gonna show to the user details of one delivery. So hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna follow the development of this real delivery app using React Native, share the video with your dev friends and see you on the next video.